for me, to just the desire to improve oneself and to do better for the good of other people. So are you ambitious? That's my version of On that ambition. version? Are you ambitious on that version? Yeah, I'm very ambition, ambitious yeah. on that definition, but I'm, I'm aware it's not potentially the Oxford Dictionary definition or society's definition. But I think it's been pretty really consistent. consistent. I was never... I don't believe, we need to interview people close to me, but um, I don't believe I've ever been the person that's, for example, as an antithesis to this, been the person that's chased the, you mentioned before, sort of like the, what was it, the batch, the beamer, and the, and the, the boat. boat. That's completely not me. Um, and I, it hasn't, you know, some people have stories where that has been them, and they have a, you know, a cathartic thing, or, you know, a great big moment in their lives, and that's awesome, when you read those change stories, but um, I've, and it's not about, oh, go me, you know, St. Teresa, number two. It's, <laughs> money's not a big thing. I, you have to have enough of it. I get that. Um, and I've worked to get, um, it's taken me a while, but I've worked to finally get through um, several goes at education to, to get a fairly well-paying job. But I actually put all that on hold and have my family and the yeah, parent of six children first and looked after family members through some pretty rough times first before I actually finally thought I'd better do the ambitious thing about um, a career for me but again that's about what can that do for other people. I'm very very at the moment agog with, um, it's the wrong word, but just yeah, in love but not in love you know what I mean with Blair Vining and what he's done, have you heard of him? So it's just those heroes that do what looks like just a pretty small thing but it's not and he he's spent a lot of his precious time which there isn't much of it left in this world he's terminal cancer from Southland um, man with diagnosed not long ago and literally been given a short time to live and so he has spent a lot of his time and energy as have all his circle around him and he's grown it through Facebook and I'm part of that community now where he's he got a hundred and I can't remember the final count over 140,000 signatures to take to Parliament and they've just been delivered to Parliament if you've been watching our national news at all. So they've been delivered by their local MP from way down south to the steps of par or into Parliament to demand for a national cancer agency. You know I could pull people out of my family too and then my husband I would say is an ambitious person as per that definition um, and yet monetarily and commercially people would say not particularly um, but that's like why we're together. And while we're a good match, 35, 36 years on, so yeah, wouldn't work if one was one level of type of ambition and one was the other, wouldn't work. Mm. So, and again using your definition, is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Time is the first thing that comes to mind in terms of creating more magic, getting more results, you know, creating more smiles. And you know, also more self care because that's a big thing, by the way. Self care can go by the wayside if you are ambitious, whichever ambitious um, type you are. Um, so, time, time, way more important than money. 